Hey up everyone, welcome back to the History Football Channel. Today we're going to be talking about another football league ground, we're going to be talking about the history of that ground. I've got an extensive playlist of other stadiums if you want to go check that out. But today's video is going to be about Oakwell, the home ground of Barnsley Football Club. Barnsley were founded in 1887 as Barnsley St Peter's. However, in 1897 the club dropped the St Peter's part of its name to become simply known as Barnsley Football Club. Barnsley have continuously played at Oakwell Stadium since it opened in 1887. The name Oakwell generally refers to the main stadium, but it also includes several neighbouring venues which form the facilities of Barnsley FC. These include the Barnsley Academy, an indoor training pitch, a smaller stadium with seating on the south and west sides for around 2,200 spectators, and several training pitches which are used by the Barnsley Football Club squads. When the first game of football was actually played at Oakwell is unknown, however, their first league win in the Football League came in 1898 against Luton Town where they won two goals to nil. There are four stands at Oakwell. The West Stand is the original part of Oakwell that's still left standing. It was made all seater in 1995 and has had numerous alterations over the years. It's currently known as the DX West Stand. The stand is made up of two tiers with only the upper tier covered. Many of the upper tier seats are the originals from the late 19th century. In the last 10 or so years, part of the stand has been closed due to safety issues. The East Stand is a two-tiered covered structure which was completed in 1993. With the opening of the East Stand, Barnsley Football Club became, at the time, the first club in Yorkshire to incorporate executive boxes into their stadium. The third stand is the Norman Remington South Stand. This was built in 1995. The Norman Remington Stand is traditionally known as the Pontefract Road End or the Ponty End Supporters or South Stand for administrative purposes. The most recent stand to be built was the Barry Murphy North Stand and that normally seats the away supporters. It also houses the changing rooms, a gymnasium as well as the first team and academy staff offices. In one of the corners of the stadium is the Car Seekers Corner Stand. This was built in the summer of 1998 and it provides on match days further executive areas and disabled facilities for viewing of the football game whilst acting as another meeting point throughout the week for guests and club officials. As well as being the home of Barnsley Football Club for well over 130 years, Oakwell has also hosted a number of England international fixtures at different age levels and even the occasional rugby league game. In 1998, Wakefield Trinity used the stadium for the first game of their Super League campaign that year. Other bits of trivia about the stadium are, in 1998, Wakefield and Emley, a non-league club, used the stadium for an FA Cup tie against Rotherham United. In July 2008, Manchester City used Oakwell for the first qualifying round of the UEFA Cup since the pitch at the City of Manchester City Stadium was unsuitable for football after the summer's commercial activities such as boxing and music concerts. And an unfortunate bit of trivia, in 1920, a player that was on the Blackpool side, Horace Fairhurst, uh, was hit in the head. It doesn't say how it happened, but it was during a match against Barnsley and um, he was taken from the field, but then he died 11 days later as a result of the injury. And a further bit of trivia, Oakwell was the first stadium in English football to have a designated stand for disabled supporters. The record attendance at Oakwell came on the 15th of February 1936 against Stoke City in the FA Cup. 40,255 people attended that game. The highest ever league attendance at Oakwell came on the 9th of October 1948 in a Division 2 match against Sheffield Wednesday. 35,308 people attended that match. The biggest ever victory Barnsley has recorded at Oakwell came on the 28th of January 1899 against Loughborough Town. They defeated them nine goals to nil. Their biggest ever loss at Oakwell came against Chelsea on the 24th of August 1997. They were beaten six goals to nil. The current capacity of Oakwell is 23,287 and the club currently play in League One. 
So that concludes my video on Oakwell Stadium, the home ground of Barnsley Football Club, which has been their home since their inception well over 100 years ago. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. Now, with this stadium, there wasn't a lot of information on it for some reason. Most stadiums that have been around for this long have a lot of information about them, but unfortunately with Oakwell, there's hardly anything, which is a bit strange, but I did the best with the information that was provided. And as always, if you're a Barnsley supporter, let me know in the comment section below about what you think of the stadium, your best memories. If you're an away supporter, let me know your favourite memories of your trips to Oakwell. But anyways, this has been History of Football, and I'll catch us all later in the next one. Alright, thank you, bye for now.